Welcome to Electron Online. When we use the method of the table to solve a quadratic equation, and there's only one solution like there will be in this particular quadratic equation, how do you know there's only one solution? You may be looking for that second solution which doesn't exist, and you may be trying values forever and not find it. But there's actually no reason to go forever because there are ways in which you can tell, and that's what's so nice about the method of the table of values to see how that really works. So again, we plop down the table here. We have the left side of the quadratic equation. We're going to plug in values for x. We start at 0. We first go in a positive direction, and then we go into a negative direction to see what happens. When we plug in a 0, we can see then the left side will be equal to 4, which means there's no solution there. What if we plug in a 1? Well, we can quickly work that out. When x equals 1, we end up with 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 4, that's 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And of course, that means that's not a solution. How about x equals 2? That gives us 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 4, that's 8, plus 4, that's, that's 12, plus 4, that's 16. All right, that again is not a solution. And notice what's happening, and that's the key here. The numbers are getting bigger and bigger, and we can assume that will continue this way. So we know that the only way to get a solution is to end up with a zero. And if the numbers keep on getting bigger, we're definitely going in the wrong direction. So let's try x equals 3. That gives us 3 squared plus 4 times 3 plus 4. That's 12, that's 16, plus 9, that's 25. So again, you can definitely see we're going in the wrong direction. We can assume it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So when x equals 4, that gives us 4 squared plus 4 times 4 plus 4. That's 16, 32, that's 36. And you can see this pattern here. It doesn't look like we're going to find the solution going in a, po in a larger positive direction. So now let's go in a negative direction and see what happens. How about x equals negative 2? That gives us negative, uh, <coughs> negative 1, I meant. So that's negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 plus 4. Let's see here. That's negative 4 plus 4. That's 0 plus 1. That's equal to 1. Well, that means that's closer to 0 than any of the no other possibilities. So, all right, we might be going in the right direction. x equals negative 2 because it's negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 4. That's 4 plus 4 is 8, minus 8 is 0. Here we have a winner, 0. That means that x equals negative 2 is definitely one of the solutions. Now the question is, is there a second solution? Well, let's find out and see what happens. x equals negative 3. That's negative 3 squared plus 4 times negative 3 plus 4. That's 9 plus 4 is 13 minus 12. That's equal to 1. <clears throat> All right. How about x equals negative 4? That's negative 4 squared plus 4 times negative 4 plus 4. That gives us 16. That's 20 minus 16. That's equal to 4. And it looks like the numbers are beginning to get bigger. Well, let's continue x equals negative 5, so that's negative 5 squared plus 4 times negative 5 plus 4, that's 25, that's, tw let's see, 29 uh, minus uh, 20, that's equal to 9, so 9 here, and notice what's beginning to happen, the numbers are getting bigger and bigger again, and they look like they're getting farther away from 0, so we have large number, so from 0, uh, let's see here, from 4 to 9 to 16. So starting from 0, getting bigger positive numbers gives us a very large result. Doesn't look like it's converging to 0. When we go to negative numbers, eventually we get to 0. Then the numbers become big again, and it looks like they're going to continue to be big and not get smaller again. For example, x equals negative 6. <clears throat> get negative 6 squared plus 4 times negative 6 plus 4. 4, that's uh, 36, that's 40 minus 24, which is equal to 16. So at negative 6, we get 16. And notice that again, just like before, the numbers are getting bigger and we're getting away from 0, which means there's only one solution. x equals 2, and there's no other solution to this quadratic equation. And that's how we use the table of values to realize there's only one solution, and therefore, let's not try to find that second solution because it is not there. You need a direction, larger positive numbers, 
small and negative numbers, doesn't matter, we do not get closer to zero, and that's how we figure out, using a table of values, that there's only one solution in this case. That is how it's done.